Hi there, welcome to WeClub. My name is Stephanie Rogers and I'm going to be giving you the introduction to our CRM function today. Once you log in, you're directed to our dashboard. The dashboard is divided in three different sections. On the left hand side, you have a navigation menu. On the top, the taskbar, and at the center of the page is your widgets dashboard. The widgets dashboard is customizable depending on your personal preferences. So if you click on the plus widgets button, you're able to see the sections you can um, enable on your starting page. So it really based on your personal preferences, you can just design that um, starting page whichever way you like. The navigation menu on the left hand side um, includes contracts and help desk as well. However, those are add ons. Um, standardized, you have the customer center, the organizer, CRM, and reporting section within your CRM account. However, you can combine the CRM package with those two add ons as well. The top is your taskbar. Um, so on the left hand side, you can add your company logo. You have a shortcut functionality over the plus new button where you can just easily add new data into the system rather than having to navigate through the system on the left hand side. Plus invite user is where you can assign your licenses once you have become a WeClub customer. If you are in a test um, phase, you're able to invite your colleagues to test the system with you. The search functionality has a detailed search result view um, on the bottom and on the left hand side you have a filter um, functionality. So if you click on the corresponding section, the system will just show you the search result in that certain module. The log on and log off button is for internal time tracking purposes. The product call would be your last visited sites. The bookmark functionality is a shortcut functionality. So if you have a important customer you're dealing with on a daily basis, or if you're working on important opportunity, you want to create a shortcut, you're able to do so by clicking the add bookmark bookmark button. In WeClub, we distinguish between two different types of settings. You have your user base settings and your global settings. The global settings are applied throughout your whole organization, whereas the user base settings are user base. So once you click on the My Settings op, um, section, you have the ability to um, add your email accounts right here, which corresponds with the organizer section, um, the mailbox, address book, calendar, task reminders. Those are synchronized. So once you click on the plus, you're able to see all of the account types. Um, the differences are really that your Google Mail account, you're able to synchronize your mailbox, address book, and calendar, whereas um, with an Exchange account, you're able to synchronize all um, you know, your tasks and your reminders as well. On the bottom of the page, you have your API token if you wanted to connect an external system to WeClap. And you have your USB security key for an added layer of security. The global settings, like I said, that those are settings um, which apply throughout your whole organization. Only an admin are able is able to change those settings. Um, you know, important settings would be like your currencies or your tax information. If you're a in, internationally trading organization, you may ne need commercial languages for your forms and translations, for example. This is where you can set those things. And then your CRM settings like your web to lead or if you wanted to define sales regions and um, you know define mail templates, for example. The question mark is where you can find your customer number and a direct link to the FAQs in our API documentation. So let's dive into the navigation menu on the left hand side. You have your customer center, which is really anything contractually agreed between yourself and WeClub. You do have um, the option of entering your company data and then um, managing your user licenses, having a look at your invoices, and then manage license as in you know book additional licenses if you if you need any. The organizer under the section mailbox, um, you can find your emails. Um, you can write new emails just like out of your um, mailbox you have connected to WeClub. Under the calendar section is where you can set um, meetings for yourself. You can invite your, your colleagues or external people. Um, under the detailed view page or view, you're able to add participants as well. 
and then set their permissions, for example. The task is like your to-do list. So if you're a person who likes to work off a list on a daily basis, this is where you can set a list for yourself. Now, if you go into one of those tasks, you're able to set a reminder. The document section is where you can upload, um, you know, files um, on a private basis. So, you know, only you're able to access those if you upload them in a public section. Um, it's not public as such, but your organization is able to access that um, certain file as well. Okay, that was for the organizer section. The CRM section is um, really, you know, includes all your customer management data. So your customers are divided in four different um, categories. So you have your contacts, leads, customers, suppliers, but really there's only three categories. Contacts includes everything leads customers and suppliers leads are your you know your leads and your potential um, customers for new opportunities customers are your existing um, customers and then suppliers are obviously the um, organizations you're you're purchasing from events would be your tasks so what you have um, done on a daily basis if you wanted to have a look at certain you know um, certain users of the WeClap account, what they've been doing last week, for example, you're able to see all of the um, all of the tasks and all of the events they have registered in the WeClap account. Booking reports would be your activity. The opportunities is your um, reflects your pipeline. So this is the list view and the table view. Um, the Opportunities can also be shown as a Kanban view. So you have your um, sales phases on the top here in different um, columns. You're able to move the opportunities from one sales phase to the other or sales stage to the other. You have a um, consolidated view of how many opportunities you have um, in your pipeline as of now and then also the potential revenue. Campaigns is where you can um, manage your campaigns. We have a out-of-the-box integration with MailChimp and Cleverreach. So if you're using any of those two um, softwares, you're able to connect those two to WeClap, which then enables you to um, manage the campaign out of your WeClap account. And lastly, the reporting section. This is where you can have access, receive access to the sales cockpit. So um, create certain uh, reports for management, select a time span, let's just select the current year, and the information will be shown on the bottom. We do have additional reports where you can see pie, char uh, pie charts and other columns, however this is just a simplified one. And that's really all I have for you today. Um, I do hope that I was able to give you a little intro to our CRM function. If you have questions at all, um, feel free to reach out to us under our sales line um, or our email address. You're more than welcome um, you know, to ask any questions you may have. We do have another webinar on our website as well. So feel free to have a look at that where I kind of go into more detail about the global settings and the process as such. Thanks very much and uh, hope to welcome you to the WeClub family soon. Bye.